looking for the ultimate and compact and discreet lockpick kit, you might want to take a look. This is Southord's jackknife lockpick. It looks like a pocket knife, but if you look a little closer, you'll notice along the top here is your tension wrench. It's under tension pressure to hold it in. So just lift it up and then pull it out of there. You can see that little bend holds it very tightly in place. It's not going to fall out. You're not going to lose it. If you want to take a look at the picks inside, you loosen up this knurled nut to release the pressure and then just slide them right out of there. Very easy. These are all stainless steel picks, so very tough. You're not really likely to break them. Let's take a look at what you get. Okay, on the bottom here, you'll notice we have a standard hook, so if you like to single pin pick, there's your tool of choice. We've got a rake. This is called the S-rake or the snake rake. Very fast to get into locks. If you, have, if you don't like using this type of pick, the, uh, the hook, you can use a, di a half diamond. Or if you have uh, dimple locks, this is a great tool to use to get those open. If you find yourself facing some wafer locks, this is a half ball, and this is the tool of choice to rake those open. These next two are a little bit not so well understood. This is a city rake or an L rake. Uh, it's used in a rocking technique, and I'll show you that in just a minute with uh, a lock that we've got set aside here. And the last tool, again, is ignored by a lot of kids. This is an extractor. A lot of times you're asked to open locks after someone has broken off a key. Well, if you don't have an extractor, you're not going to be able to use these pigs. So you use the extractor, that little barbed edge will pull the broken segment of key out, and then you choose one of these. So how do you choose one? How do you use it? Well, we're going to use the city rake, so let's slide that down to the bottom here. And then we kind of push it in place, and then fold the rest of them neatly out of the way. And then we tighten up the knurled nut to hold that pick in place so it doesn't flop around. All right, let's use the city rake on this master lock. This is a brand new master lock, obviously still sealed, but you're not going to have access to that key. You're going to be expected to pick it open. So let's do that using the jackknife tool. But it's our tension wrench in the bottom. Now I'll show you the best ray way to use this particular pick. The city rake you apply moderate tension to the lock and then you slide the pick in and at the same time you rock it up and down and hence the name rocking technique and you just slide them in and that's how quick that thing can work a lot of people don't understand it or they use it like a regular rake doesn't work so well but if you use it with a rocking technique on the south or jackknife tool you'll find that it works very frequently anyway fellas highly recommended if you're looking for the compact tool of choice this is it.